very good morning to you. Our text, John 2, verse 7. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the next few talks on. And Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. The heading, the water pots of Cana. I do not think that I should be of any good if I were to enter upon a discussion as to what sort of wine our Lord Jesus made on this occasion. It was wine, and I'm quite sure it was very good wine, for he would produce nothing but the best. Was it wine such as men understand by that word now? It was wine, firstly. But there are very few people in the world today that has ever seen, much less drink, any of that beverage that they used to, in those days. That which goes under the name of wine is not true wine, but a fiery, brandy concoction of which I feel sure that the Lord Jesus would not have tasted the drop. The fire waters and blazing spirits of modern wine manufacturers are very different articles from the juice of the grape, mildly exhilarating, which was the usual wine of more sober centuries. And secondly, as to the wine such as in commonly used in the East, a person must drink inordinately before he would become intoxicated with it. It would be possible, for there were cases in which men were intoxicated with wine, but as a rule, intoxication was a rare vice in the Saviour's times and in the preceding ages. Had our great exemplar lived under our present circumstances, surrounded by a sea of deadly drink, which is ruining tens of thousands, I know how he would have acted. I am sure he would not have contributed by word or deed, to the rivers of poisonous beverages, in which bodies and souls are now being destroyed wholesale. Application. Some have raised a question about the great quantity of wine. But you are thinking of an ordinary wedding here, are you not? When there are maybe ten or a dozen people or a few more together in a parlor, an oriental wedding is quite another affair. Even it be only a village like Cana or Galilee, everybody comes to eat and drink, and the feast lasts on and on for a week or a fortnight. Hundreds of peoples must be fed, for often open house is kept, nobody is refused, and consequently a great quantity of provision is required. And I pray, thank you, Father that you always provide in our need to the full. In Jesus' name, amen.